Mary Slessor was a Scottish missionary who lived from 1848 to 1915. She was known for her work in Nigeria, where she helped to end the killing of twins and promoted women's rights. Slessor became an advocate for the rights of women and children in the region and is remembered for her courage and dedication to improving the lives of the people she served. Mary Slessor was born in Aberdeen, Scotland in 1848. She grew up in a poor and difficult household, facing many challenges early in life. Despite her humble beginnings, Slessor was known for her strong faith and sense of adventure. She eventually felt called to missionary work and set out for Calabar in present-day Nigeria in 1876 to work with the Efik people. Slessor's early years were marked by adversity, but it was these experiences that shaped her into the courageous and compassionate missionary she became. Mary Slessor faced numerous challenges in her early years. She grew up in poverty in Aberdeen, Scotland, and experienced the death of her father when she was young. She took on odd jobs to help support her family and faced hardships that were common for working-class families at the time. Despite these difficulties, Slessor's upbringing instilled in her a sense of compassion and resilience that would later define her missionary work in Nigeria. While working on her loom, she discovered a unique way to prop books for reading. As she delved into tales of Calabar, now known as Nigeria, Mary became convinced that her calling was to embark on a missionary journey to that land. In 1876, she set sail for West Africa on the SS Ethiopia, a vessel loaded with hundreds of barrels of whiskey, an ironic twist considering her family's history with alcohol. Reflecting on this, she mused, scores of barrels of whiskey and only one missionary. Yet, what a missionary she turned out to be, Mary assumed the roles of a circuit preacher, village teacher, nurse, nanny, and negotiator, single-handedly transforming three communities through preaching the gospel message. She averted tribal conflicts and rescued countless women and children over the span of 40 dedicated years, relying on God's strength. Mary Slessor's story is Isaiah 6, 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. This verse captures the spirit of willingness, courage, and dedication that Mary Slessor exemplified in answering God's call to serve as a missionary in Nigeria. Mary Slessor's remarkable example prompts us to consider various ways we can contribute. How can we offer financial support? Which countries should we lift up in prayer? Are there missionaries we know who require our assistance? Should we consider going ourselves or encouraging others to do so? Hosting a foreign exchange student can also be a way to make a positive impact. How can we actively engage in spreading the message of Christ? These questions urge us to reflect on our role in furthering the work of God's kingdom and reaching out to those in need. Let's pray, Father, we gather before you in the powerful name of Jesus, lifting up the missionaries who are currently serving in the field. We ask for your protection over them and pray against feelings of discouragement. May they find a deep sense of belonging and purpose in their countries, knowing that your presence is always with them. We also lift up the hearts of those they are serving, that they may be open to understanding the gospel message, spreading the gospel to those who have yet to hear it. Please send more laborers into the harvest. We are grateful for the technological advancements that enable us to translate and distribute the Bible swiftly, yet we ask for accuracy in translation so that the message is clear and impactful. Your word is potent and effective, never returning empty. Guide us in discovering our roles in mission work and grant us wisdom and courage to play our part. We pray all this in the name of Jesus, amen.